What is going on guys, Custom Arson Mods here, and a lot of you guys have been asking for some more Mavic videos. Today I'm bringing you guys one, it's a repair for the gimbal ribbon cable, and unfortunately I crashed this thing going backwards into a tree at 40 miles per hour, and it was pretty dangerous, and I really wasn't paying attention, so that's one thing I need to work on, uh, is checking my surroundings a little bit better. Unfortunately I had to pay the price, however, I was able to recover the drone, and uh, recover most all the little pieces um, I put some new props on as you can see and the only thing that's really damaged is the video cable and the gimbal cable. So today we're going to be working on the gimbal ribbon cable replacement and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this brand new gimbal ribbon cable which I'll have links to the ones below. They're about 10 bucks a pop which is pretty good considering uh, that's all you're going to need to get your Mavic fix back up. And yeah, so it should be good. Um, as you can see, we also did a little bit of uh, damage to the rear uh, holders for the arms. So, we're going to go ahead and get into this build, but first I'm going to show you guys what you need. So, in terms of tools, I'm going to be using this uh, Torx bit, which is a 1.5 millimeter. Uh, you can also just use the standard 1.5 millimeter Allen key. Um, no different there. And I also have some Phillips because there's going to be some Phillips screws in there as well. And you also need some tweezers, little things like that. But that's basically what you have lying around. Some people with long enough fingernails or small enough hands can probably get in there themselves. So these are the main things that you're absolutely going to need to uh, actually make this thing happen. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to go ahead and un take off all the props. And that's just in case uh, we uh, they get in our way in the build. I don't know kind of where this would happen. It's good because then we don't get the prop scratched up and if you accidentally turn it on or if you're going to go test it, it's uh, something that you don't really want the prop spinning up. There's not really any need to have them around. Then we're also going to spread the remote controller out to the side there, remove the battery as well, two tabs, pull it up, pretty simple. And we're going to go ahead and move on now to the first set of screws. So the top has six screws that we're going to be removing. We're going to be removing this screw, this screw, this screw, this screw, and these two screws on the back, again with the Allen key. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I'll speed it up. All right, so as you can see, we went ahead and put the six screws into this little dish. You can see back here, I actually have a few of these lying around. It's good to have something to contain all your screws. All the same screws can go in here, and when there's a different type of screws, I can just grab a few more of these little dishes. They're always good to have them with me, so I recommend having those as well as some other little tubs for the parts so you don't lose them. So on the bottom side, we're gonna go ahead and now check out four screws. Um, we're gonna take out these cover plate screws um, and then there's screws underneath them as well. So just again, same thing. These screws will be a little bit shorter that are coming out. And you can see they're just a tad bit shorter, but I'm gonna mix them in with the other screws because they're easier to tell out because they have a thinner thread or that's not as wide. So yeah, once we get that, we're gonna go ahead and take a flathead bit, um, if you have one, or you might be able to use your fingernails, but I recommend a flathead bit. And we're just gonna go ahead and pop these up. And depending on where you are actually coming from it, you might have a better angle. And just like that. So you just pulled off this little thing, and so you're just gonna stick it under there, and it should come right out. So the other side, you're just gonna get it in there. And it might take a few tries. And you might wanna come at it from a different angle, if you can. And try not to scratch it up like I just did, but either way, you're fine. So just work your way in there and it'll come right out. There's nothing really to damage under here unless you're going too far into the actual apparatus of the folding arm, so just be careful. But we're gonna also uh, remove this screw as well and these other two. All right, now that we've gotten all of these screws out, we can go ahead and flip the Mavic over. And we're gonna basically, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take off the top plate. And this thing actually snaps in fairly tightly. So make sure that when you're doing this, uh, you have a little bit of force, but you're still very gentle. My first time I ever did this, I was really concerned that I was gonna like break it in half or something like that. It does take a good amount of force to bring it off, like I said, but you're just gonna go ahead and give it that force, but try to give it evenly. So it comes off just like that. And 
see right there, all I did was pull it from the back. You're also gonna need to unplug the GPS module. And I actually did go ahead and break these. So I'll set them off to the side as well and we might glue them back on in the future. So once we got that done, we can set this piece aside and we're into the good stuff right here, which is the actual gimbal board itself. Anything behind these two pads right here is uh, gonna be pulled off and just not gonna be touched. So be careful when you're doing this next part. All right, so we're getting a little bit into the nitty gritty here, so I went ahead and pulled down the tripod so you could see this a little bit better. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take out this entire board on the front. And that's gonna take four screws to get out. This one right here, this one right here, this one right here, and this one right here. They're all Phillips head and uh, they're pretty straightforward, of course. But we're gonna go ahead and pull out this little gimbal power uh, lead right here. You gotta be very delicate with this little micro JST connector. Um, I'm using these tweezers, but you might be able to just use your hands if you have fingernails. And that's perfect, just like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and take the vision positioning sensors off. These are just little um, board connectors. So I'm just gonna pry it off just like that. And they come off just like so. So there are four of those as well. And these ones are on the front right here. And they come off just like that. So now once we got those four off, I'm gonna go ahead and take, again, these four screws off and we'll be good to go. At this point, the gimbal should pretty much just come right down and out. Um, it's the entire board from the top and yeah, very, very simple to do. So now this is the apparatus that we're gonna be uh, taking a little look at here. You can see it's all broken and stuff like that. So I'm gonna lay this piece of foam right here um, so that I have a less chance of scratching my lens and so all the little parts that come out of this I can see a little bit better. So at this point, if you're going to need to replace your gimbal uh, board, it's going to be right here. But unfortunately, uh, we don't need to do that, or fortunately. So for this video, uh, I would try to find someone else. It's pretty simple to do. You just need to go ahead and unplug this uh, t these two little cables. But other than that, we're pretty much good to go. So for the ribbon, we're gonna go ahead and focus on this gimbal. It's gonna be a little bit trickier than it might uh, look, so be prepared for that. But first, we're gonna go ahead and detach the cables from the board. Again, another simple process, just uh, gonna pull up on this side of the camera uh, cable to pull it up like that. And this is another one of those pads for the uh, gimbal ribbon. And as you can see, this is where the gimbal ribbon broke. So at this point, we can go ahead and take out these two screws on the metal bracket for the gimbal. And yeah, very, very simple, straightforward, hopefully. Um, just kind of got to get in there and take them out. All right, so now we've got them apart. I'm gonna go ahead and set this piece off to the side and I'll go ahead and put these rubber things and re reposition in a little bit later. But for now, we're gonna focus on the gimbal ribbon because that's why you guys are all here. So we can take this piece, set it off to the side because that's just a broken part. And now we're gonna get into the real nitty gritty and I'm probably gonna have to zoom in either, even farther because we've got a bunch of little screws to take out now. So we're gonna start on this piece right here, um, which is just the side plate of the actual uh, tilt axis of the gimbal. So just take these two out, and I'd recommend trying to keep them in their holes. Um, so do them evenly so that you can just pull out the screws and keep them into the hole uh, that they are in just like that. And make sure that you are really patient here because if you are get um, impatient, of course, then you're gonna have a little bit of an issue. You could possibly break it, very little delicate pieces. And yeah, so just like that. And this is where I'm going to go ahead and get a little separate bowl for all the little pieces that I'm making um, and set it off to the side as well. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to the top plate, which is probably one of the harder plates to get off. And again, two more little screws. Um, it's actually a little bit harder to install is what I mean to say. Um, but just two screws. And 
that one should just pull off just like that. And of course you're gonna need the third screw which is right here um, to get the side of it off. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the back plate which is the third and final plate for this uh, piece right here. And that should re reveal everything we need to uh, get that old gimbal ribbon cable out and put the new one in. All right, so let's go ahead and take all these pieces out just like that. And we are left with this right here, which is exposed sides to the gimbal. And we're pretty much just gonna walk our way out of here. And basically, let's start off just like so and pull it off. And then there's another little pad that I'm just gonna yank out because this is already broken. I don't need to exercise that much caution, but you still need to be careful, of course, uh, as you don't wanna actually damage the pins in the gimbal. So, just like that, and you can see that we just uh, pulled off the ad adhesive on there. And now what we want to do, this is very important if you are going to be disassembling this gimbal ribbon, is you want to actually pull it off to the side. Don't dig into it because that's how you can misalign the pads and actually break this thing. So very, very light force because if you have too much, like I said, you will render this thing practically useless. So now we're going to go ahead and snake it down to the final part. You're going to have to move the video out of the uh, video cable out of the way and I'm just gonna take this once again and try to pull it up from the side but don't I don't really want to be too forceful just like this so I'm gonna again really don't want to get under there and I'm actually just gonna end up uh, pulling as much of this ribbon cable out as possible um, maybe even just ripping it off because that's how much I don't want to break this actually on a different Mavic gimbal that I did let me see if I can find it um, this one right here, I actually uh, broke the pads on the inside right there. You can see they're awkwardly spaced, and that's because I was a little bit too finicky, and I actually broke a $60 part. So uh, make sure that you are very careful with this, and I'm going to try to get this off off camera. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and put this thing back together. Sorry for the background noise. I'm right next to our home's furnace, but we're going to go ahead and and first start off by finding our way around this cable. This is quite intimidating because it has to go into a bunch of different little shapes. And yeah, so let's do that first. So first we've got this one right here. It goes on the tilt axis. This one on the pan axis, which is the middle one. And then this one, of course, goes on the roll axis. So basically what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start in the center. And I'm gonna actually first start with this fold. So basically to fold this thing, we're gonna need to fold it back on this little line right here. So you can see that. And now just fold it back on the line. And if you have adhesives, it'll help you with this. But now when we stick it through the actual gimbal itself during in this little middle hole right here, um, we're gonna go ahead and stick this end through the hole. Just like so. Gotta get it through. All right, there we are. Yeah, so now we're gonna fix it and then we're gonna put the fold going up and down and I'll show this to you when I get it. Put the fold going up and down just like so um, until it fits nice and seats down kind of just like that. And we're also gonna go to, wanna go all the way in and try not to rip the, uh, the ribbon cable because then you'll have to get another one. Unfortunately, there's no real repair for these things. So be extra careful. So you'll see we, when we seat it down just like that, sorry. See it down just like that. You'll um, be able to see it um, in a second. And then this pad is gonna flip onto there um, with a flathead screwdriver that's nice and small. So pull it up, flip it over, and hopefully we'll be able to get the pad down on it. There we are, and that one's in. So now we're gonna go ahead and finagle this cable all the way around, and you can see that's basically just how it's gonna work. So for the back, now we're gonna go ahead and fold this one, just a nice gradual little curve, all the way around, 
just like so. And once we get this, just double it back over into the area that it came into. So I'm sorry for my uh, poor showingness of it. So now it will come through the end and you want it to still be uh, looped back there, but um, kind of still work in that way. It's a little bit hard to explain, but if you guys saw the other one and observed it before you took it out, it'll be fairly easily um, done in the terms of you know how to do it. So now you're gonna pull your video cable out of the way just like you did before and delicately push this thing back down into place like so. And we're gonna test for a firm connection just make sure that it's in all the way. And now, when it comes out by the front, you'll see it looks just like that. And that's exactly what we want, nice and doubled over, just like I said there. So we can go ahead and choose to button the back portion up and make sure that our gimbal cable does not come out anymore, or we'll just go and get through it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just button it up, in this case, just so it's a lot easier. So I'm gonna put the corresponding plates back on with their screws, and I'll meet you guys back when I'm done with that. All right, so as you can see, I put all the plates on. Pretty simple to do, just as before. I remember that the shorter screws go in here and the longer screws will go on the actual tilt side. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and bring it around just like so. And once we've gotten that, we're actually gonna fold it backwards and around so that it meets up properly with the tilt side. So, let me go ahead and try to explain this a little bit better to you. Um, but we're just gonna go ahead and push it in just like that so that it folds over. So you, can, you guys can see that basically um, works just like that. And then, let's now push this in just like so. Okay, so you can see, uh, let's give you a little bit better of a look at it. So it folds backwards just like that, and our new gimbal ribbon is installed. So now we're going to grab our board just like this and install it just as we did before. Make sure that this little piece goes through there. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. Installation, a reinstallation is practically the same, but we're going to go ahead and do a test now once I got it all reinstalled. All right guys, so I put everything back together. If you were unsure how to do it, like I said, go ahead and watch the disassembly and basically reverse that process. Very, very straightforward. I actually didn't put any screws in the actual body so that it will just come off if I need to make a quick change. Um, but for my first test, we're just gonna do it. I snapped on the top and we're ready to put a battery in, full charge on the battery. Let's go ahead and do it. So we're gonna be looking for this to do the normal startup procedure. Then we're gonna do a pan and tilt test um, on it and hopefully they'll all work out. So if you did it right when you started up It should look just something like this It's gonna go to the top the bottom then it's gonna look down for a second and then it's gonna do some more initializing and then go straight forward All right, and so my controller now uh, Has gotten the drone and I'm gonna use this to show you guys my gimbal tilt up and down Mine's a little bit slower on this model right here, and that's just the way I have it set up in the transmitter, um, and then as well as the uh, actual pan back and forth. Motor start, and works really well. All right, so that about does it for this video. I'm super impressed with my abilities to fix stuff, even though I don't really consider myself such a techie person. If you guys follow the channel, you know that I do a lot more simple stuff, but this is something that I really wanted to get done because these repairs can go upwards of 500 bucks if you're gonna ship it back to DJI. So yeah, definitely try uh, doing this. It's a $10 part that you can get off Amazon, link in the description below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video, hopefully going back to some more Mavic stuff and some RC planes. So I'll see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Comment down below if you have any questions.